Good evening once again. Um, I said I'm going to try and bring on my guest. And here he is. Yes. We are. We're nearly there. Don't know what happened the first time, but we've tried again. Uh, Let's see. Hey, we made it this time. I know, yeah. (laughs) I said I have to warn you though. I was told that you speak too you speak scouse too fast, so you have to speak a little slower. <laughs> you said that. And that was one one of my relatives in, in Miami. She's like, You speak too fast. I couldn't understand what he was saying. So speak a little slower. <laughs> I'll try. Anyway. Uh, so we're going to try this again. I'm Sheila Balgobin, principal of Simply Improve Health, and I help people to train better and longer, have better sleep, and enjoy a better quality of life using simple plant-based products and simple techniques. Now, this evening, um, we're, talking, we're talking money. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. We're talking money. Um, I had Aiden on a few months back when we talked, we talked more about his story and his journey towards looking at, um, at new ways to invest. But today we're actually going to be talking about how um, to invest without actually losing your shirt in the process. <laughs> um, you, you know, can actually kind of hold on to, <laughs> to your little bits and pieces um, and gradually slowly, if necessary, build yourself a future and a future for your children as well. So, Aiden, um, we're just to, to um, I guess, to give people a little background if they hadn't seen us on the live before. Um, Aiden is, is a ninja, is a ninja par excellence. He's an ex, ex-military and he applies that energy and that that discipline to building a business i mean he runs a small business um and he's become hi chris has become um uh an investor as well um without losing his shirt in the process and he's managing to to do i think fairly well i should say um you know he's helping not only um taking care of a young family but he's helping um his his elderly parents to um, to to have a decent life. So he's a busy man. But <laughs> so one of the things um, that I came across today um, while I was in a business course at South Bank University um, was the facilitator of the course said, oh, well, you know, I said, cryptocurrency is dead and gone. Forget about it. Um, there's nothing to be done with it anymore. The governments are cracking down and, fo- and companies are folding because the government regulations are becoming so difficult. Now, when I told you this a few minutes ago, you were like, what? (laughs) So what, as far as you know, what exactly? Oi, Lucinha, mwah, te amo. Um, (laughs) Some of my my, my Miami contingent coming in. But... um, what I would like you to, to explain is, is what do you, as you see it, what is the current situation? Hi, Martin and Paul. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> and, um, I mean, you haven't heard this particular thing and, you know, maybe it's just a rumor or maybe it is happening and it's not being announced. But what do you think the current state of play is right now? And remember to speak slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. You know what I mean? I can't win no matter what I do. Um, well, quite frankly, I think cryptocurrency is like, it's, it's not even fully started yet. Never mind being gone and dead. It's it's so new, cryptocurrency right now. They say that only 1% of the world actually knows about cryptocurrency and is actively involved. At 1% of the world. So how can anyone turn around and say it's been and gone? I mean, there's been there's been laws people call it a bubble and things like that. Do you know what I mean? But let's face it, any anything can be classed as a bubble. Do you know what I mean? People are just scared of what's unknown and and they just sort of slate it, don't they? So for me personally, crypto has only just started. And it's not too late to get involved. I mean, I've I've got money invested in all different types of cryptos, all different types of um. Uh, 
ICOs, and I'm also heavily involved in the very first decentralized advertising portal as well. So it's not that it's not gone. It's it's here to stay, and it's it's still pretty. It's pretty new. I mean, it's backed by blockchain blockchain technology. Now that is gonna change the world itself. So yeah, to answer your question, it's. It's, it's very, very new. It's not gone. It's far from gone. Well, one thing I noticed is that, yes, I mean, a few weeks ago, I mean, the, the, the value of, say, for example, um, of Bitcoin plummeted. I mean, it, it was something like 10,000 and then it dropped down to like 5,000 or something like that. So it lost about half its value. However... If you've been watching, you know, looking in the newspaper, which quotes cryptocurrencies now, you'll notice that it's going back up again. Um, and the thing about investing that I, I think people don't really get their heads around is the fact that you have to look at it from the, a point of view from the longer term. You can't look at investing, whether it be in stocks or the real estate or any kind of investment. You cannot think six months, a year, 18 months. You have to be looking at something like the medium to long term, so like two years upwards, two to five years. Because as I know, as a former banker, I know that the stock market go, you know, goes sideways and, and all shot to hell periodically there's these bubbles that develop and then it is a crash but if you if you're spreading your risk which you sh any we should all be doing as much as we can if you're spreading the risk so that you don't have hi stacy if you don't have um so you know you don't have any anything that's all high risk and not and or things that are all low risk but you spread it so that you kind of get a bell-shaped curve you know, with most of the stuff more or less in the middle, you survive. Um, you know, and yeah, I, well, I, go I on. think I think it's key to obviously to know that when you're investing in anything, obviously you, you never put all your eggs in one basket. That's that's Absolutely. real one of investing. You never put all your eggs in one basket. Also, Absolutely. real two is never invest with what you can't afford to lose. I mean, like I said, I'm I'm involved with multiple cryptocurrencies, and I've just got a couple of ones in the niche. You know what I mean? Because I believe the, the, the cryptocurrency is the future. I, I really do believe that, and that's why I've heavily invested thousands into it. But I've spread that investment out over different different coins. You know what I mean? I don't know which coin's going to go up or which one's going to go boom. You know what I mean? Some of them are not going to make it. Let's face it. But yeah, it, I've got like so many different coins. If one of them goes like to a Bitcoin or something, I mean, I've got like. I've nearly got a full Bitcoin, do you know what I mean? That's the that's like the first ever coin. So for me, that's like one of my goals is to own a full coin. And I've nearly achieved that. I've got well, loads of all different coins. You've got to spread your risk. Well, it, it's true. And I mean, it, it's not that, you know, it's you have to invest solely in, in coins. It could be other vehicles that, that may be of interest to, to people, depending on their means and, and their interests. But what I would say th is that um, you have to be willing to, to at least pay minimal attention <laughs> to what's going on, not only in just, you know, what's going on in, in the markets and politically what's going on, but just to keep track of your money, just like you, you keep track of your, you know, your, your weekly or monthly budget. You need to keep track of this. It's just, an, you know, it's just one more thing that um, with a minimal amount of attention, you can actually turn it into something that that's, um, sustains you in the future. I want to throw out a fact for some of the women that are listening to this. Ladies, if you live in the UK, and even if you're living in the US or, or other countries, do you realize that Social Security or, or the state pension or whatever it's called when you retire that you get from the government will not support you when you retire? It will not support you. It will not give you m enough money to live on. You will fall below the poverty line unless you have some other means of making a living or unfortunately having to work until you drop. 
Um, and, you know, and that's that's a real fear. Yeah, I know you're angry about that, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I mean, it, there was a report that came out a few months ago. No, it, not even a few months ago. came out last year where um, it was looking at um, women, partic in particular women who had left the workforce to raise children to create, you know, to raise the next generation and they're being penalized for it by not being able to live once those kids are, you know, well, maybe they won't be gone from home <laughs> the way things are going with the housing market, but, yeah. you know, they're, they won't be able to survive. It's terrible. I mean, so women in particular are really going to be affected by not having um, another means, some other means of developing a business, of developing income for themselves, even if it's just a little bit extra to, to, keep, them, to keep them afloat. You know, and I know some of the, you know, there are people I know who have, are watching or have been watching that are been being put into that position you know, that they may be retired or at retirement age and they have to keep working because they have no choice, you know. And th what this is about is the, to give everyone, not just women, but everyone the possibility of living a decent life when they get to a certain age. So... Uh, um, I've got a fact. Can I, can yeah. I just show you the quick fact? What, you give me what I feel yeah. like on it. I want to share a bit of value. So did you know that every eight years, your hard-earned money sat in a bank decreases in value by 50%, the buying power of your yeah. money due to inflation? You know what I mean? Obviously, other factors affect that as well. But yeah, you're 50%. Right. So obviously, you've got 50 mm. grand sat in the bank in eight years. That is technically only going to be worth like around about, you can buy about 25 grand worth now because every eight years it devalues by 50%. That is ridiculous. Why, why have your money in a bank? <laughs> it's mad. It's madness. Hello, Anna. <laughs> um, she said, she, Aiden, you need to do a video on how to move mass coins into growth. <laughs> and she loves your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Urfi. I said, I know you're, you're watching from far away. Um, but the other thing that, that's also interesting about this is that, and it's what brought me um, into contact with Aiden in the first place, was that, um, yeah, like I said, I was a banker for, for 20 years, and I had put away a decent-sized nest egg to, you know, to, to invest for my, for my pension. But then, you know, looking at it and, and realizing all of a sudden, shit, <laughs> by the time I'm ready to retire, this thing is not going to be worth, it's not going to sustain me for any length of time. It may make me, you know, I might be able to take a nice cruise or something, but <laughs> if that, so, and that kind of kicks, you know, started the brain working. It's like, you know what? Yes, you've diversified, and yes, it's it's earning money, but it's not earning enough to to last me when I'm actually ready to retire. So that's what started me looking at financial stress. I mean, my thing is stress management, and financial stress is the number one, you know, destroyer of relationships. People divorce not because of sex. That's number two. They divorce <laughs> because of money, money, moolah. <laughs> so you know but what i would like this to, to talk about now a little bit aiden is um particularly i mean the vehicle that we're talking we're looking at is mass crip is it it doesn't need to be um huge amounts of investments i mean there's we were involved in another group that i mean you had to be heavy hitters you had to start you know with something like 500 and at the time it was about like 600 700 dollars or more just to be able to get your foot in the door and it was just like i can't afford this <laughs> i cannot <laughs> do this maybe in future i can do this but i can't do this right now um and that was what kind of attract well it did attract me to to mass grip in particular because uh it was 
A, there was a lot of, of help around and people to help you, but also that the initial investment was not onerous. It was something that is could be, I mean, with a, a little bit of juggling maybe and maybe have to save up, but it wasn't so expensive um, that you could not, um, af- you couldn't, not invest. I mean, that, if, you know, if that if you were so inclined. And so let's talk a little bit about that, because the initial investment is actually fairly reasonable when you think about it. Well, it's less than a night out, put it that way. I mean, I was um, I was at one of my good friends from the army. I was at, I was at his um, engagement party the weekend. And that, that cost me over 300 quid for the weekend. Do you know what I mean? That's obviously traveling staying over in a hotel, drinks, you know what I mean? So, I mean, this $100, $100 80 quid, or what, 72 quid, I think, something like that, and you can get involved, and then and you're in, you're in, you're in with people who are trying to make money themselves. See, the industry we're talking about, you don't have to, I mean, yes, network marketing company, but you don't have to be a network marketer to get involved. You can just buy some coins, which the value goes up. You can just get involved in the growth, which is a return on uh, your capital that you put in there. But for me, it was like you just you get involved with the hundred dollars or the seventy or quid, whatever it is, the exchange rate, and you're in the groups then. You can start seeing what other people are doing. I mean, I got involved in network marketing as you were saying earlier. Mm. Stress, financial stress, is the, is the number one like problem that people have. And now there's a saying in the industry where people get involved either out of inspiration or desperation. And for me, yes. it was desperation. I was running, I yeah. got out of the army, I had no qualifications for anything, transferable anyway. And I'd say I was cutting grass, you know what I mean? I was cutting people's grass for like a £10 a go. And I was, it just sort of happened, and it means to start my own business. It just sort of happened. Yeah. I needed to make money. And my military background just sort of like, just I didn't take no for an answer. I just went out and made it happen. <laughs> and but what, but obviously what I found is I can't cut grass at night. Do you know what I mean? I put some lights this on man is a beast when it comes to going after business. Let me tell you, he's a serious ninja. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. It's just, I mean, if he has to work, you know, till two in the morning to, you know, contacting people or whatever it takes. Um, he's willing to do, and that's why he's a success. But what's what's yeah, I, that's right. Send some love hearts and some thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> it but, is, it's unbelievable. You, you got to do what you got to do. Haven't you? you know what I mean? I got the yeah, no experience. I just went at it, and I found network marketing. So it was something I could earn money in in in, in my house. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When when it, when it goes dark outside, and I'm just sitting there going. Waiting for the morning, you know what I mean. I was like, oh, I need. I found. I found a way to make money online, basically, in my spare time. And yeah, I kissed a couple of frogs to find where they are now. Do you know what I mean? I've got in a few companies where I wouldn't say they're bad companies. Do you know what I mean? They were really good companies. They taught me how the industry works. You know what I mean? Like I said, I kissed a couple of frogs, and I have got a lot of experience from it, from it. Do you know what I mean? Because it doesn't work straight away. You got to you got to fill that pipeline with with, um, with action before but, any. But that's true with anything, end. isn't it? Isn't that true yeah. with anything? Hi, Sally, and yes, Angela. He is certainly is a grafter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But but yeah, I mean it it's it's the same with anything. If you're you know they say success is ten percent inspiration and ninety percent perspiration. You got to work your butt off. I mean, yeah. you're only going to get out what you put in. But what's what has been good about this is that it's it's it took a minimal amount of investing. I mean, in, in the I mean, personally, I would say with it from December when I joined till till now, um, I earned about what sixteen hundred dollars, rough. Well, yeah, sixteen hundred dollars or six, yeah. Roughly. So what I, I mean, found. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, I mean, and it was, I mean, from the initial investment, I mean, it, which turned out to be roughly about two, um, $200. Um, I kept reinvesting um, and being able to, to increase my holdings from reinvesting the money. So I, my re- initial money coming out of my pocket was, was, was minimal. And then I just, instead of, you know, wanting to be, you know, withdraw it and do something with it, oi, Davi. <laughs> they, um, I, 
was able to just keep in reinvesting the money and building capital that way and earning money that way. Um, so it wasn't um, heavy. Um, it, it wasn't onerous. It, it didn't, you know, I didn't feel the pain um, from investing. <laughs> and this is what, if investing generally needs to be money that you can, you can afford to, to lose, they say. I mean, that, that's the conventional wisdom. Um, no but, you know, this is the kind of thing you could, you know, if you put $10, $10 or 10 pounds away for, you know, a few weeks, you know, that's, that's a packet of fags, a packet of cigarettes, or, you know, maybe going to the movies. You know, give that up for a few weeks and then put that money aside and be able to start to, to create wealth for yourself. Um, I, but I think, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think that people are, like you said, afraid, but they also go into employee mentality. You know, somebody telling them what to do, somebody paying them a salary, somebody basically telling them when to sit and when to stand and if they can sneeze or not. Now, <laughs> I was never very good at that. So <laughs> I was always kind of a maverick and, and needed to do my own thing. So it's always kind of pushed me out there to, to, to find my own way. But it's, I recognize that it's difficult for people to loo, kind of get away from that mindset. But this is something you can do in your spare time. This is something you can do. Hi, Harry. Good to see you on the weekends. Or in the evenings, if you know, if you're working full time. So I mean, you, it just I think really depends on where a person is and if they're willing to do the graft, the hard graft, um, and make the time to to be able to to build something that they could eventually kiss their boss goodbye. That was my motivation: kiss the boss goodbye. <laughs> And I haven't looked back, um, you know, and that's I just put that out there for people to consider it may investing may not be for you. You may be very risk averse and, you know, past results will never guarantee future results. And you have to understand that, as I said before, investing is long term. It's not for, you know, unless you, you've got lots of money and willing to take, you know, invest in high risk in investments, you're not going to get your money back right away. It's just not going to happen. But yeah. I mean, you know, you say that you've, you've been involved in, in the business, well, with cryptocurrencies for several years now. Is that right? Not several years, no, several months. Wait, uh, several months? <laughs> oh, even I didn't even know what crypto was last year, but I I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Do you know what I mean? The, the, the way I see it is you've got plan A and you've got plan B. Plan A involves you having a job, you're working for someone so you, for 40 years, they retire on 40% of the money you couldn't afford to live on anyway. Or plan yeah. B is you get And you get a little watch if you're lucky. <laughs> plan B, you get off your ass and you go and make shit happen now. Right now, why uh, you've got the time to do it? Because at the end of the day, you're going to look back on your death and you're going to wish you, you wish you got involved in in something that was going to give you a better lifestyle. And and there's no no excuses. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Maybe back in the day there was an excuse, but now we've got the internet. There's no excuse. Do you know what I mean? Put the effort in, and you will succeed. Do you know what I mean? But it's not an easy journey. Do you know what I mean? I got involved in network marketing, and I was expecting it to be hard because I had a business anyway, and that was hard, hard. That's why I got involved in network marketing because of how hard business was. Do you know what I mean? But I'm like at the four year point in my business now, and it's actually paying off. Do you know what I mean? It's the same with network marketing. You can't expect to start and earn money straight away. You've just got to trust the process and just go with it. And I've been I've been in network, network marketing for two years now, successfully. I'm still going. I'm still in the game. You know what I mean? The vision is still there. I've kissed a couple of frogs, so I've changed vehicle, but the vision is still there. And it's to be a six-figure earner this year. And I, I'm on track. I'm going to be doing it. I'll tell you now, I'm not going to make any excuses. I am going to be a six-figure earner this year. Okay. I said, we're going to have this conversation later in the year, at the end of the year then, and see, you know, see where you've gotten to with your goal. <laughs> hey, that's what you call accountability right there. That's I'm exactly. Hi, right, Gita, thank you for watching. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, this is the thing. I mean, it, it's having, and having a group like we have to, to um, 
not only to, to kind of support each other and to troubleshoot and, and, and keep abreast of what's, ha what's happening, not just with mass crypto, but with, with um, uh, cryptos and business in general, um, makes, that, makes that leap, I think, a little bit easier. Because I think as an individual investor, people will naturally, um, you don't have to sell, Anna. <laughs> And we'll we'll get to that in a second. Um, the the um, the fear of of like you say of stepping out of their comfort zone it stops a lot of people. Like some and you know and I'm not a I'm not a salesperson either, um, so I I can relate to to your comment about not liking to sell things. But if um, I look at it this way. If you, if you try something, let's say, you know, a new, um, go to a new beauty salon or you tried a new product and you absolutely love it, don't you tell all your friends about it? Exactly. If you're not selling something, you're recommending it. It's the way you look at it. Yeah, things. I mean, you're recommending something and because you're, give, you're giving it ba a recommendation based on personal experience, people are more likely to listen um, to what you have to say. Um, and, you know, some people will buy into it, some people won't. But if you're truly enthusiastic and, and experience, having a good experience with something, you you know, we're quite willing to share, you know, a good experience. Oh, you know what? That movie that I saw was really great. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's a recommendation. You know, you're not you're not pushing it. It's up to them to make the decision. You know, they have to be 18 and they have to be aware of that, you know, the, the risks and everything involved. But um, they're going based on your recommendation. Um, and that's important because now, you know, that I've been in, in the business for a few months, I can actually say to people, yes, that is a good way to put a spin on it. Um, but now, you know, I've been in a few months and I've managed to make a bit of money and I can see and I can prove it. I can say, so look and say, see, this is what I've actually earned. And, and this is how I this is where I started um, with a minimal amount of money being invested. I was able to make this in this amount of time so that um, it's. You know, it, it, like I said, it's something, it's a decision, a personal decision that everybody has to make for themselves. But do you regret it, Aiden? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, like I say, even if you don't, even if you don't want to sell things to people, if that's the way you look at it, all right, get right. growth, put some money into yeah. growth, watch it grow, and then... Mm -hmm. Tell me that you tell me that you're not happy. Do you know what I mean? Because what, what what bank is going to give you up to four percent a week? I mean, a bank won't even give you one percent a year. This will give you up to four percent a week. So, like, say for example, it doesn't get four percent one week. Say it gets one. All right, that's still fifty-two percent a week a year. Do you know what I mean? But it gives you up to four percent a week. You can't get that in the bank. You know what I mean? We're not trying to change the world. We're just trying to make it better. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that, and then if if you if you're making money with it, then you show somebody else how to make money because you're going to show them anyway. You're going to be excited. Do you know what I mean? And then, and then that's that, that's selling because you because you've recommended it to somebody and they've purchased it, so you're going to get a little royalty for that. I mean, and what the thing is, as you we touched on before, that there's also different ways of being able to earn. Um, yet you could you could sit there and make sure your account is topped up um, and earn a minimal amount every month. You know, you get back, you know, what, 20, what is it, 20 pounds, about, you know, about 20, 25, 30 dollars <laughs> just well, from, yeah. from it sitting there and doing nothing with it. You know, I mean, if, if you just want a little bit of pocket change, then that's fine. But, I mean, it depends on the amount, your desire and your engagement as to whether you build an actual business with it or just um, receive some, a little bit of pocket, pocket money from it. Um, you know, and it, it all depends on, on the person's desire and how much effort they're willing to put into it, um, which is true of anything, any business. I mean, it, not just <laughs> investing in, in currencies, whether it be foreign currency, cryptocurrency or foreign exchange or some other kind um, for, you know, for, for trade purposes. You're going to have to put the put the hours in, regardless. Um, and I think 
um, people have to have to expect that that they're going to have to make a minimum minimal amount of effort. They can't just. Um, I mean, once it gets to a point where it's it's you know earning money in your sleep, then yeah, go off on holiday and it's, you're still earning money. Great, but you I know you have sleep. to <laughs> you have to lay the foundation. Yeah, you have to lay the foundation first. Um, and I think that's where you know people may fall down because they they're like I said, like you, we've been saying, people are afraid for various reasons. Um, but I would say that. If people are willing to invest, if that's something that they think that they they would like to learn more about, then you know you can get in contact with me. You can get in contact with Aiden. Um, you know, and and I mean, and and walk you through it, and just you know talk to you about it, answer questions, um, and see whether it's truly for you. Because if it's not, don't bother. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to be straight up. Don't bother. If it's not for you, then it's not for you, and fair enough. We can show you the information, but, the information, the videos. If it's for you, fine. If it's not, that's fine. We can just show exactly. we, can, we can lead the horse to walk. We can't make it drink. This is what we're doing. Do you want to have a look? Show sure, you. Yeah. If you don't want to have a look, that's fine. But you never know exactly. what could be around the corner waiting for you. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not what if. What, what if it doesn't work? What if it does work? That's what if. <laughs> what, what if it does work? Yeah, exactly. Oi, <laughs> Valentina. But it's, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a decision that everyone has to make in their own way and in their own time. Um, but I would say that this is one of the groups that I would say um, is probably more responsible for its members in that it will, you know, if, if there's questions that need to be answered, if there's problems that need to be sorted, um, that there are people that were actually go to bat to, to sort things and to look at things and, and hopefully get them working in work, good working order again. So I would put that out there to you. I hope that it has been um, of use and value to you. And thank you all who have been watching. Um, it's been great to see so many getting online. Um, and no, I'm not sending you pictures on your inbox. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> anyway, um, Aiden, I so said we'll, we'll be talking about this some more, but um, I think people have gotten a, at least a basic idea of what um, cryptocurrencies are or n are not doing at the, at the moment. And that investing doesn't mean you have to have, you know, be a big high roller with lots of money to throw around. You can be a small investor and build a big business eventually if you're willing to work. Um, yeah, and I think you can't. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of people can't. Thank you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all about, it all comes down to the person in the end, doesn't it? Okay. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all the love hearts and thumbs ups and, and comments. And thank you, Aiden. I said you've been a star as always, but I'm going to hold you accountable. At the, you know, later in the year, we're going to see how close you are to your goal. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Six we'll figures? See. All right. That's a bet. We're going <laughs> to see what happens. <laughs> Thanks thank you so much. much. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you for joining, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.